and welcome to our third step of Prezi. Today we are going to read or study about Prezi and comprehension. Even though the two are different but they have some similarities. Both need great understanding and thinking. The two are related to each other. After reading the entire paragraph in Pressy, we summarized it. But after reading the entire paragraph in comprehension passage, we sought out or we answered the questions that given to us. So today we will start our class with Pressy and Comprehension. We will read about Pressy and Comprehension. So let us begin with Pressy. In previous two parts, we read about the Pressy, its main rules or key points, do's and don'ts, and some shining points that help us while making a good pressy. Similarly, in this topic, we will read some shining points related to comprehension. So, let us begin with our topic, pressy and comprehension. Pressy. What is pressy? Pressy is a summary of a text or an abstract. To make a pressy involves comprising a given passage to express against or the essential theme of the passage. Means if you are given a paragraph for pressy writing, the first and foremost your duty will be to thoroughly read it and underline the main theme or the essential theme of the passage. So, Pressy is a summary of a text, an abstract. To make a Pressy involves compressing a given passage to express against or to essential theme of the passage. A Pressy must be clear, concise and roughly one third in the length compared to the original passage that we have already read about the rules, the do's and don'ts of the pressy in our previous topic. Comprehension passage. So comprehension takes comprise passage followed by the same que some questions and other exercises. You are expected to read and understand the passage and answer the questions and exercises based on the passage. So, comprehension. Comprehension passage means reading comprehension text comprise passage followed by questions and exercises and you are expected to read and understand the passage and answer the questions and exercises based on the passage. So, here similarly we did the we do the same thing in Pressy. The first and foremost duty while doing Pressy is thorough reading and same here in comprehension passage. Then in Pressy we sort out the main idea, same here we did in, we uh, do in comprehension passage. And then we underline the essential theme or points. So a Pressy is a summary of a text, an abstract. To make a Pressy involves compressing a given passage to express against or the essential theme of the passage. A Pressy must be clear, concise, roughly and one third in length compared to the original passage and in comprehension passage. We sort out the question answers that are the main lines of the complete passage. So comprehension text comprise passage followed by some questions and other exercises. You are expected to read and understand the passage 
and the questions and exercises based on the passage. So then what is the similarities between Pressy and Comprehension passage? We do the same thing while writing a Pressy or doing Comprehension. You need to be both fast, correct in the time limit set for a text means whatever the work, the task we are given in our examination means to do the pressy, to write a pressy or to comprehend. What are our first and foremost duty is to read the passage. Means read the passage means we need fast and correct reading according to the time limit. Same thing we, re we read in our previous topic related to the pressy means we read some rules or key points of writing pressy. Now we will study some rules or key points in this class. Before that let us see what is similar in between these two pressy and comprehension. The skill of reading swiftly first is the skill of reading swiftly means first thing that is similar while writing a pressy and comprehension is the skill of reading swiftly this is the first point next the power of grasping the essentials whatever the matter is there you will have to just keep all the things, all the matter in your mind means the essential things, the main points that you underline in both. Have to keep that one in your mind means the power of grasping the essentials. The ability to express what has been understood. Then whatever you have read in both the passage for pressy writing or for comprehension you must have the ability to express what has been understood means whatever you have read the chapter and what you collected from the uh, passage or the theme that has been given to you next is concisely in your own words means after collecting, after reading or after having a thorough reading of the passage, your duty turns toward the collection of the words that you will have to frame or mold in your own words. So next is concisely in your own words. If we need to read and comprehend in a comprehension or understand what the passage is about then we can easily answer the questions correctly and the same skill and understanding is required before writing a writing a press C. so the skill of reading swiftly the power of grasping the essentials the ability to express what has been understood Concisely in your own words, the conclusion, the purpose, all things, all these things you will have to accumulate in your mind while doing pressy or comprehension passage. If we need to read and comprehend in a comprehension or understand what the passage is about, then we can easily answer the questions correctly and the same skill and understanding is required before writing a press C. The ability to express yourself concisely and precisely is in your own word requires you to have a keen and understanding mind on a good vocabulary. Means if you are reading a passage for comprehension or for writing a pressy, 
you should be keen towards the matter the writer has expressed in the passage or you must have the ability to express yourself concisely and precisely in your own words requires that you have a keen and understanding mind and a good vocabulary so both comprehension and precy needs skill of reading swiftly the power of grasping the essentials the ability to express what has been understood concisely in your own words sorting or underlining the main sentences or the main idea or the title body and the conclusion all these things will help you to do comprehension as well as writing a precy so both the precy and comprehension needs fast and correct reading that is related to the time limit set for the test so here the ability to express yourself while making a precy or doing comprehension passage you require all these main things that are similar for writing a precy or doing comprehension passage reading comprehension passage needs some rules or key points in our previous topic we read some rules or key points of writing a precy that rule which are very helpful and a good step for making a sound precy similarly we will read some key points or rules while doing comprehension means the similarities related to both precy and comprehension needs some rules that are also interrelated let us see so first rule read the passage thoroughly read it again by selecting the main lines the same thing we will have to do in precy means for precy and comprehension we will have to read the passage thoroughly or maybe once or twice time once or twice so first and foremost step is to read the passage thoroughly read it again by selecting the main lines or main points or underline the important sentences next glance through the questions and then related to comprehension our second duty is after giving a complete reading we must read the questions well and in precy after reading the passage thoroughly our duty is to understand what the writer means to say similarly he is here we also know by reading the questions that what does the writer want to say here in the given passage means after reading the passage thoroughly switch to the questions means a complete and thorough reading means you can easily make a relation between the questions and the passage easily uh, if you switch toward the questions immediately after reading the passage means you will have to give a thorough reading to the passage and the questions as well next reading of the passage along with the questions help you to understand the content Man, means whatever the writer has mentioned in the passage you can easily understand means the topic is related to what you can easily understand the topic is related to 
some theme that so the theme should be clear there in the given passage similarly here in the prasi after reading the passage we switch towards the main sentences then our complete reading enable us to understand the content given in the passage next try to identify the subject who or what the writer is writing about means the passage is about what the passage is telling about some importance of tree dowry system some problem or related to other topics so try to identify the subject who or what the writer is writing about same thing we need in prasi also next identify the topic that is the important thing for prasi as well as comprehension so identify the topic of the paragraph first your duty is to read the passage thoroughly then glance the questions as well then after reading the passage you will have to switch towards the question that will enable you or help you to understand the content then identify the subject who or what the writer is writing about then main idea means what is the top topic of the paragraph means you will have to identify the topic of the paragraph while reading it try to express in a concise sentence what the writer is attempting to say on the topic whenever you read a paragraph a passage for comprehension or prasi you must understand the theme the topic of the paragraph because it will help you to understand the main views of the writer that he or she want to say or show in the topic that would be the main idea of the topic listen carefully the main idea is the core means you will have to sort out main idea you will have to sort out main idea of the passage of the topic from the given passage for doing comprehension or writing prasi in many cases the author may have written a main idea sentence clearly in many cases the author may have written a uh, main idea sentence clearly just our duty is to spot it by giving a complete keenly and clear accurate reading so main ideas are usually occur at the very beginning or at the end of a paragraph this is the point that you will have to remember that main ideas are usually occur at the very beginning or at the end of the paragraph if you are able to understand the main idea means you will have to identify the topic of the paragraph along with the main idea means whatever the writer wants to say if you are able to understand the main idea and the connection between them you will be able to comprehend easily so identify the topic of the paragraph try to express in a concise sentence what the writer is attempting to say on the topic that would be the main idea of the topic and it will help you to understand the paragraph completely and you will be able to comprehend the whole passage our next rule is a careful study of the word and word pattern will tell you about the theme of the passage means keywords you should thoroughly and cleanly observe the paragraph 
having keywords or the word pattern so a careful study of words or word pattern will tell you about the theme of the passage next after reading the passage carefully give a quick scan once again after reading the whole passage underlining the questions or careful study of the words sort out the purpose keywords main idea after all this after all these topics we will have to pay a simple or quick reading of the paragraph so after reading the passage carefully give a quick scan once again the lines the topics or the questions asked by the being asked by the writer you will have to match the questions with the sentence you have already underlined in the passage so this help you to refresh your memory reading the main idea important details and the structure of the passage so after reading the passage carefully or glancing the questions and the themes the main idea the important details you just carefully read out the points the sentences you have selected from the paragraph and this helps you to refresh your memory reading the main idea important details and the structure of the passage next your answer should be brief to the point or in your own words the conclusion of the comprehension is that whatever the material we have selected from the passage should be brief to the point or we can use our own words but we can not add our comments or remarks over there but our passage should be brief to the point or in our own words i hope you will have understood whatever we have discussed about the key points of doing comprehension let us see some shining points related to comprehension first thorough reading then main idea then keywords then purpose main points dates or events or important statements if dates or events are there thorough reading of question questions and the selected lines that you have selected for the answers then other exercises whether it is in multiple type blanks complete the sentence whatever it is and last the conclusion so these things are as same as related to pressy while doing pressy we will have to remember these things also but in comprehension we will have to remember these two points also rest are same related to the pressy thorough reading will make us to understand the paragraph main idea will enable us to know about the writer's view the topic of the title sorry the title of the topic then the keywords means the words and the word pattern will help us or tell us about the theme of the passage then the purpose the motto of the topic or what does the writer want to say or the main points that main things brief that we will uh, do in pressy or we will attempt the main points while answering the questions then if dates and events are mentioned there or important statements are there then answering the questions or doing other exercise all these things will help us and the last 
that is conclusion means that our answer should be brief to the point or in our own words i hope you will have understood whatever we have discussed in this topic in this class so for the understanding of both it is important that you should read them well and follow their rules so after reading the entire paragraph in pressy it is summarized but after reading the entire paragraph in comprehension passage the answer given to the question is solved this is the only difference between press doing writing pressy and doing comprehension passage so i hope you will have understood whatever we discussed in our this third part so practice yourself have a nice day